They carried astronauts into orbit and to the International Space Station. They deployed satellites and repaired them. They were orbiting space labs conducting countless scientific experiments. But when NASA's Space Shuttle Atlantis touched down at Kennedy Space Center, Florida on July 21, 2011, it marked the end of the Space Shuttle era. The shuttle's Challenger Columbia Atlantis Discovery Enterprise and Endeavor had been in service for 30 years. Since 2011, American astronauts could no longer fly missions conducted from the space shuttle or transport astronauts or cargo to the International Space Station. Since 2011, the only way for astronauts to fly into space or travel to the International Space Station was aboard the Russian spacecraft Soyuz. But all that is about to change. NASA, in partnership with Sierra Nevada Corporation, is developing the next generation space shuttle called Dream Chaser. The idea for Dream Chaser began in June 1982 when an Australian P-3 patrol plane took images of a Soviet ship recovering a spacecraft from the Indian Ocean. Employees at NASA's Langley Research Center used that model and started building its own horizontal landing craft called HL-20. The original HL-20 was designed as a complement to the space shuttle. It could transport people and small amounts of cargo and act as a rescue vehicle if needed. It could be used to serve as satellites for observation missions. The idea of a space taxi stalled, however, and the HL-20 project was canceled. NASA moved on to other pursuits. The craft was warehoused where it remained collecting dust for 20 years. Years later, with renewed interest in developing an alternative to the space shuttle, Sierra Nevada Corporation was looking for an idea for a space taxi system and looked to the HL-20 as a viable answer. The HL-20's history of being the most extensively tested and reviewed vehicle was a good choice to build upon. By 2004, Dream Chaser was being redeveloped and prepared as a candidate for NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Program, or COTS. By August 2012, after extensive testing and redevelopment, the Sierra Nevada Corporation was awarded $212.5 million to continue work on the Dream Chaser. Dream Chaser is a reusable transportation spacecraft designed to carry from two to seven people and or cargo to orbital destinations such as the International Space Station, where it can remain docked for 210 days. It has the capability of delivering crew and cargo to other orbiting destinations as well, or function as a short-term independent orbiting laboratory for government agencies or commercial entities as well as potential orbital space tourism. It has a built-in launch escape system and can fly by itself if needed. The vehicle is able to return from space by gliding and landing on any airport runway that handles commercial air traffic. Astronauts will experience less than one and a half G upon re-entry as compared to the space shuttle's three G. Its reaction control system thrusters burn ethanol-based fuel, which is not an explosively volatile material, allowing the craft to be handled immediately after landing, unlike the space shuttle. Dream Chaser is smaller than the original space shuttle. The space shuttle stood 121 and a half feet tall and 78 feet wide, whereas the Dream Chaser stands 29 and a half feet tall and 23 and a half feet wide. It is a fraction of the size of the space shuttle and could, with its wings folded, fit inside the cargo bay of the shuttle. Unlike solid rockets, Dream Chaser's hybrid fuel system allows the motor to stop and start repeatedly and be throttleable. On-orbit propulsion is a hybrid system fueled with hydroxyl-terminated polybutatine, HTPB, and nitrous oxide or as some call it, rubber and laughing gas. These elements are non-toxic and easy to store and are safer than liquid rocket fuels. 
Its heat shield tiles can be replaced as a large group rather than tile by tile. Dream Chaser can use any suitable launch vehicle, but is slated to be launched atop an Atlas V-402 rocket. SNC is one of three companies funded under NASA's CCICAP initiative to develop a next-generation crew transportation vehicle. Other concepts are also being developed, including Boeing's Bigelow Crew Space Transportation System, SpaceX Dragon, Orbital Sciences Cygnus Cargo Spacecraft, and NASA's Orion Spacecraft. But Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser remains the only non-capsule, reusable lifting body vehicle with runway landing capability. Several successful development milestones have been met by Dream Chaser during 2010, 11, 12, and 2013. On January 30th, 2013, SNC announced a new partnership with Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin will develop a second airframe and is slated to be the first orbital test vehicle. Full orbital flights are scheduled for 2017 and will usher in a new space shuttle era.